Welcome to Guild Wars 2 Fluffy Law Bites. If you know nothing of Tyria but you're interested and you don't want to spend hours learning, this is designed for you. Today we're going to look at the Silvari. The Silvari are a race who are only 25 years old. Born from golden fruit pods on the pale tree, they are fully humanoid in appearance but of a hardwood bones, golden sap for blood and leaves and vines for flesh. The pale tree chooses their sex but they can't reproduce themselves, they have to be born from the tree, which technically makes them all brothers and sisters. No Silvari have died yet of old age, and they don't seem to age so no one is sure if they do die. Twins can be born from the tree and have amplified empathy for one another. The Silvari all share in a collective dream and all are connected on some basic psychic level. Just before they emerge from the pale tree they all shared in the dream of dreams. This dream introduces them to the consciousness of the pale tree and a huge amount of combined knowledge from other Silvari. When they emerge they take part of this knowledge and an understanding of the pale tree with them. The Silvari are divided by what time they are awakened. These time slots are called cycles. Cycles are the times of the day which define the attributes of the Silvari. Dawn is between midnight and 6am and normally produces a diplomatic and friendly Silvari. Noon is between 6am and midday and produces strong combatants. Dusk is between midday and 6pm and produces philosophical and intelligent Silvari. And night is between 6pm and midnight and produces secretive scoundrels and mathematicians. They are normally honest and direct and extremely inquisitive. Although they have gained a lot from combined knowledge in the dream, their race is still very young and they are hungry to learn. They have trouble understanding social nuances and because of this can come off brash and insensitive, but it's more from a childlike lack of experience than a willingness to cause offence. They do have romantic relationships and sex. This is practiced without gender barriers and the Silvari believe that love is about the person behind the leaves. They all believe it's their race's job to hunt down the dragons as a big part of their dream was about the shadow cast over them, they see this same shadow in the new world they have entered. The Silvari are quite agnostic and want proof of God before believing in them. They see the pale tree as more of a parental figure than a deity, and if in need of some emotional support, they travel back to commune with her. The pale tree leads the race, she has a spectral form at the base of the tree to make communication easy and concise. There are also the firstborn who are the first to emerge from the tree. Being the eldest living Silvari, they lead underneath the pale tree. There are four such who have taken on specific leadership and organisational roles, each born from one of the different cycles. Thanks very much guys, that was the uh, Silvari kind of introduction profile law bite. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, um, expect lots more to come. Um, check out the Azura one if you haven't seen it yet, and um, I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much, bye.